Today, let us study God's word titled, Let us obey God and be blessed in the end. Let us open to Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 1. If you fully obey the Lord your God and carefully follow all His commands I give you today, the Lord your God will set you high above all the nations on earth. All these blessings will come upon you and accompany you if you obey the Lord your God. It says, All these blessings will come upon you if you obey God. Thus, obedience leads all of the children of Zion to the way of receiving God's blessings. You will be blessed in the city and blessed in the country. The fruit of your womb will be blessed, and the crops of your land, and the young of your livestock, the calves of your herds and the lambs of your flocks. Your basket and your kneading trough will be blessed. You will be blessed when you come in and blessed when you go out. The Lord will grant that the enemies who rise up against you will be defeated before you. They will come at you from one direction, but flee from you in seven. The Lord will send a blessing on your barns and on everything you put your hand to. The Lord your God will bless you in the land He is giving you. The Lord will establish you as His holy people, as He promised you on oath, if you keep the commands of the Lord your God and walk in His ways. Then all the peoples on earth will see that you are called by the name of the Lord, and they will fear you. Additionally, when we read verse 13, God said, God will make you the head, not the tail. Sometimes God gives us one kind of command, and sometimes God gives another kind of command. It's because all of God's words eventually lead us to receive God's blessings. When we start to insert our own thoughts by saying to ourselves, actually, I think, or isn't it better like this than like that? The more we add our own thoughts to God's words, the more we will miss the opportunity to receive the blessings He has prepared for us. Therefore, wherever God leads us, let us have firm faith to be guided by Heavenly Father and Heavenly Mother who have come down to this earth by keeping all their decrees, regulations, and laws without straying from them. Like this, let us not fail to go to the kingdom of heaven together. Thank you very much.